Hey YouTube, Wex with Bastard Airsoft here, and I'm back. <laughs> um, so, I know a lot of you are probably like, whoa, holy shit, he's back. Well, um, yeah, I'm back, and uh, probably here to stay. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a brief background about what's been going on here, and then I'll get on with the kit video. Um, okay, so, it's no secret, I was, uh rather chubby when I was making videos back in Bama and even throughout my time here in Oregon um, and you know I was okay with that and stuff like that you know of course I'd get the occasional YouTube troll you know why is this fat ass making videos and stuff like that well you know it's whatever haters gonna hate you know whatever but uh some of the comments started bothering me a bit because they were so repetitive and it really got annoying and uh, so I decided that I was going to lose some weight and I did uh, in total I've probably lost about 50 pounds I've been on a diet and exercise and uh, it's it's actually been a really good experience um, I'm really enjoying it and you know it's it's just a journey you know it's part of life's journey and everything like that and uh, so you know, I'm still working at it. I'm still trying to uh, get in supreme physical conditions for when I ship off to boot camp. I'm sure several of you know that uh, that I'm going into the Marine Corps, even though I uh, almost got DQ'd there for a while because of a skin condition that I had, but that got cleared up. It wasn't eczema or anything. It was, it was actually something that was onset my stress, is what they said. So we got that taken care of, and so I'm, uh, I'm pretty much good to go. I just got to check back with the recruiter. And you know, attend to maps, everything like that. But basically, I'm a poolie for the United States Marine Corps, and uh, so I had to lose weight for that too. But also because I was getting bugged with, you know, your fat comments. So anyway, um, but yeah, so I lost weight. I'm now down like 175, I think, which is pretty good for my height. I'm like five ten and a half, I think, five ten, five eleven, somewhere in there. Um, but it, overall, it's been a really good experience. And, uh, in my absence, you know, I've posted occasional, like, uh, you know, slideshows of gameplay and stuff, or of, you know, me at games and stuff like that, but I know you guys don't really care about that. In fact, I've seen my views go from way up into the thousands to down into the, you know, hundreds, and it's like, wow, people stop giving a fuck. But, uh, it's all good. So, uh, I just wanted to make a video, because I've got a bunch of new kit here that you guys have never seen, except for... My friends on Facebook, I'm sure, have seen some of it, but not all of it. So, uh, anyway, that's why I've had this extended leap of absence here. I hope uh, with enough time I can get back up into the thousand, you know, over a thousand views bracket, but, you know, we'll, we'll give it some time. But anyway, you know, you can definitely see a difference in my face and my neck. You know, I don't have a, a double chin or anything like that, and when I stand up, you'll be able to see... Uh, see it down in my uh, stomach area so anyway I uh, just want to get that out of the way and let's get on with the kit video so uh, alright I'm wearing a replica ops core fast uh, uh, base jump um, the reason why I picked the base jump is because I just like the design of it I like the uh, built-in MVG mount um, and I, I like the cut of the holes it's pretty uh, you know keeps your head cool when you're out there in the heat of battle and uh, I actually got it in uh, foliage green so if you're that's why my uh, chin strap is in foliage green but the helmet's tan because I uh, did the paint job you know but uh, oh keep in mind this is not an impression or anything this is just what I've been running with um, anyway so I got my IR flag on this side and I got call sign towel on this side. I probably should get that changed out seeing as I'm running with Spartans now but it's just always been on there. Um, anyway I'm running like a DevGrew headset. Uh, it's, it, it's a decent headset you know my uh, contacts went down so I went over to using this and I'm enjoying it. It's It, it works out pretty good. Uh, sound quality is magnificent and the mic is, mic is a great mic. Um, anyway I ain't got nothing on back of it so there's no point in turning around. Um, Multicam that's something new that most of you haven't seen. Yeah, I uh, switched over to the great cam of multi. Uh, anyway, I'll get my weapon out of the way. It's a uh, custom Mark 18 Mod Zero. Um, 
got a bunch of different parts and pieces in it, so it's pretty much a Franken gun. I uh, got a khaki brown snakeskin paint job with Tech 2 EOTech 553, CQB rear sight, uh, crane stock, and uh, GMP foregrip with a 10.5 inch barrel. But uh, anyway, no, that's my gun. You've all seen my Mark 18 before, anyway. Alright, I'm wearing a Fly Industries, which I know it's not as good as Eagle, well, duh, but I mean. Money for me is kind of weird because I spend it on a bunch of different things. Airsoft isn't my only hobby here. So, uh, you know, I, I like real gear. Real gear is great, but for airsoft, you know, I just, I do what I can get. And if I can get something like Fly, well, I'll, I'll be happy with Fly. Anyway, wearing Fly, EPC, or uh, it, it's not an SFLCS MBAV because it doesn't have the soft armor sewn in, obviously. But, I mean, SFLCS MBAVs and... EPCs look, you know, pretty much identical. Um, anyway, I got the admin pouch right here with my name tape on it. Got an Eagle Industries triple mag shingle, um, an MJ. But all this kit is an MJK, like every piece of it. Um, got a broken TMC uh, canteen pouch. The buckle snapped off the first game that I took it out. Kind of irritated me, but uh, whatever. That's life. And then right there, I got a uh, frag pouch that I actually carry around a uh, can of Axe in because rides home can get long and pretty smelly if you don't have that. Um, and then on the back, I got I got a buddy mag system with two King Arms mid caps in it. Right here, I got a Fly 45 pouch containing my two M1 1911 magazines in it. Then I got the uh, TMC MBITR radio pouch with a uh, radio and a nice looking antenna in there and then on the back I got a fly EMT pouch um, everything on my rig I actually use which is another reason why this is an impression um, and another reason why I'm pretty much taking a break from impressions for a while because I'm tired of buying gear that I, I don't even use you know um, like for instance a signal pouch Dude, I'd never use a signal pouch. I don't even run my strobe out there or anything like that. I mean, yeah, you could throw chem lights in it, but I mean, you could just buy a utility pouch and save, you know, a lot of money doing that. So, uh, I I don't like buying kit that I'm never going to use. So, if I just buy stuff that I'm going to use, well, then, you know, it serves a purpose. Anyway, on the back, I have a TMC uh, map pack that I got from Mr. George Switglinski. Otherwise known as XXX Joe Mama XXX whatever. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll break it down for you why I use it and stuff like that. My admin pouch, uh, I carry an Allen key set in there because uh, never know when you're going to have to perform maintenance in the field. So I got my Allen keys in there. Um, we run scenarios over where I play, so you know team captains get maps, and on an off chance that I get picked as captain, you know. I'll have my map in there, and then I I also usually carry my like my cell phone and my wallet in there, you know, because well, you know, just in case I need to get a hold of anybody or anything like that. And then right here I got my PTT obviously for my uh, headset. Um, okay, the triple mag shingle is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you guys aren't idiots, so uh, you know that's carrying my mags right there. Right here, uh, it's a canteen pouch, but obviously you can see I have Gatorade in there. Um, I, I, I do carry a Gatorade bottle in there because I got water in my Camelback and uh, you know you can never get enough water but Gatorade also helps with replenishing electrolytes and everything like that so just figured that I'll have water on my back you know I got two and a half liters of water on my back and then I'll have my Gatorade right here so that when I'm out there running around sweating you know I can replenish my electrolytes um, anyway got the frag pouch right there I already told you what that was for is because uh it stinks on the way home because of sweat and everything like that. So, uh, you know, I got my axe in there. The buddy mag system on the back, that's self-explanatory as well. You know, you never know when you're going to be stacked up and a buddy's going to run out of ammo. And uh, he might be out of mag, so he'll just grab a quick mag out of yours. The 45 pouch is also pretty self-explanatory, just simply for when I draw and need to reload my pistol. Uh, the MBITR pouch containing my Midland radio is uh, once again self-explanatory most of my stuff is self-explanatory because I only run kit that I need 
Um, uh, but I mean the IFAC, I use more as like a utility pouch because the uh, admins on the field, you know, they have all the medical supplies, so there's no point in really me carrying a bunch. I mean, I might have like a a uh, you know a pack of band aids in there or some you know bandage tape or something like that, just just in case you know anything severe happens. But for the most part, you know, I got electrical tape, zip ties. More Allen keys, screwdrivers, chem lights, you know, just any little miscellaneous things that you could use, you know, maybe if you're going for like a long op or something, you know, throw a granola bar in there or something like that, something to keep you, uh, keep you going in the game. Alright, uh, well, I'll go over my gloves first. These are Real Steel Oakley SI Assault Gloves. I picked them up for 30 bucks off of a, a buddy on the Secret Squirrel group that I'm a part of on Facebook. So that was a pretty good buy on my part. Anyway, I got a, uh, a rigger's belt right here. Um, that's obviously to keep my pants up. Then I got a Real Steel Safari Land 6004 holster that uh, got to put my 1911 in that holds my Wii 1911 gas blowback. Um, pretty decent pistol. I need to uh, get some new mags for it though, because those ones are starting to leak pretty bad. I don't like to have it in there during videos because it makes my belt sag. Uh, right over here we've got a Condurp dump pouch. Um, you know, I got it for 10 bucks. I'm just like, dude, I'm not going to pass down a $10 dump pouch. Alright, we got Alta knee pads right here. Um, I like cry pants, but like I said again, money, money, money. So, uh, Keep my knees protected. I'm just wearing the Alta knee pads because these are just TDUs. You know, these multicams are just regular. And then I, uh, I'm running Ultima combat boots. Uh, some of you might be in awe of why they're bloused. Uh, well, as you can see, these pants are a little big. And uh, not only are they big around here and on my ass, they're quite long too. And if I didn't blouse my boots, well, I'd have my, you know, pants, you know, I'd be tripping on my pants. So, if I keep them bloused, well, then that eliminates that problem. So, that's pretty much the video. Uh, and like I said, as you can see, I have lost my little uh, Welsh belly. It's gone. I, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I'm sorry if I keep talking about it, but I'm really proud of myself on that one because, uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of hard work, you know, and I'm still I'm still working at it. I'm still trying to get in the best physical condition that I could possibly be in. So when I go to boot camp, you know, I'll be I'll be good to go. But uh, you know, I I feel good about myself, and that's all anybody can ask for, right? <coughs> so uh, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, to sum it all up, you know, that's my video. This is my kit. Uh, I run it because, well, one, it's functional, two, it blends well with the area that I play in. If any of you have seen my, uh, my slideshows on, you know, YouTube, you can see that that, uh, area is pretty dry and deserty. Well, the multicam blends pretty perfectly out there because there are some spots that are drier than a, I'm trying to think of, <laughs> drier than a dryer sheet. Uh, and uh, then there are some parts that are pretty green, so the multicam, fuck, <coughs> the multicam works pretty good out there. Um, and I, I also run the DCU occasionally still, but uh, figured that you guys had seen me enough in DCU and probably wanted something else other than DCU or Woodland, something new. So that's why I did my multicam. But uh, anyway, please comment, rate, subscribe, and just. Come back to me, YouTube. Come back to me. Um, so I'll do a spinny, like I always do. And I guess I'll sign off here, but uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, you know, I want to hear your opinions, everything like that. That's pretty much it. YouTube, I'll be back.